Um, I just noticed you my queen You looking like some buttercream You know exactly what I need Hot cocoa, sweet and savory Hi everyone, so um, I got my license in Korea and I've been wanting to tell you guys how I did that because I wish I knew how to do this or I wish I was able to find videos about how to do this um, when I was going through this process. So there is a video up right now I want to say on Fancy, <laughs> the Fancy channel, I can't remember their, their channel name, but um, <laughs> there is a video up on YouTube that talks about getting your license change to an international license in Korea but there isn't one from what I could find um, of how to do it how to get a license in Korea when it's your first license so that's what I want to tell you, talk to you guys about today so first let me tell you about the test and the things that you'll have to do for in order to get your license so first of all, you will need to do a, you will need to sit down to watch. So first of all, you'll need to sit down to watch a safety video for about an hour. Um, and that you will have to do before you start anything. So I recommend you actually go on to online or call a DMV that is closest to you because there should be at least one person who speaks English and ask them what times they usually show the safety video because every DMV will show it at specific times in the day and I did not know this and the DMV that I went to was pretty far away <laughs> and they only showed it two times a day. Um, and I was definitely not at that time and I couldn't really watch it the day that I first went so I had to come back home and then go on a separate day to watch the video and then take the written test. So definitely, definitely try to find that information out beforehand. Um, after you take after you watch the safety video you can then start taking the written exam now the written exam depending on where you live and what your DMV looks like you might have to wait in line to until like a free computer comes up because all of the computers are just like in a room and everything is set up and if you require it to be in a different language you will probably have to wait longer than someone than like a Korean person who's in line even if you registered first because they will have to change the language specifically for you and it won't just be automatically like in Korean um, so keep that in mind when it comes to like timing out your day um, yeah the max points that you can get is 100 and out of that you need at least 60 points to pass I shamelessly passed with 65 points. Um, <laughs> please study better than I did. Um, and then after you take the written test, you will have the basic skills test is what I like to call it. And then the road test after that. Now I did attempt to do the basic skills test without any training and I <laughs> did not do that well um, from the start because I didn't know so first of all I tried to take the test in English and throughout the entire process there are people telling you wait until the person says imnida or momo heyo um, they always tell you to wait until the end of like the sentence to do the thing because if you do any action too early the points even if you do it correctly if you do it too early you will get points off so 
<laughs> when it came to like turning on um, the lights or turning on the wipers or shifting the gears I did them a little too early so I immediately got points taken off um, and it doesn't even really go through all of the steps the minute you get one thing wrong it doesn't even do the next thing it's now like okay start going uh, <laughs> and mind you I did this in English so if your language if your um, native language is similar to Korean where you have specific um, sounds at the end of your your sentences I don't think that'll be an issue for you so much but if you are an English speaker then I definitely recommend either searching or when you go to a driving school here to ask them to put the language to English so that you can like better understand the timing of it all um, especially if you don't know <laughs> Korean so that's gonna be one of the things that you would be learning when you're when you're practicing your basic skills is the timing of when to to do things after the person has said something I did not know what the timing was because there was kind of a few pauses and also I think I might have been either too late with one thing and then too early with other things it was it was just generally it didn't go well <laughs> um so after I failed that okay so my camera cut off here but basically what I said was after I failed the basic skills test I decided that it was time to go to a driving school and start my lessons. So I recommend you ask your driving school how they bill um, before even starting the written test just because timing wise if I had known that I would have had to take the written courses anyway I probably would have taken them studied on my own, um, finished the basic courses, and then gone to the DMV and knocked out both the safety um, video, the written test, and the basic skills tour course all in one day. Now, now that you've finished the basic skills course, which I don't think I mentioned this, but they basically test you on turning on lights, turning on your wipers, shifting gears, parking, specifically backing into a space, um, stopping on hills, accelerating, decelerating, and, and following basic um, road signals. So that is all settled. Now you're on to the road test. The road test has four different options for courses that you, that you could possibly go on. When you go into a driving school here, they will teach you every single course a b c and d you will practice all of them and then if you have a lot of time so because i was so kind of um my <laughs> my instructor felt that i was very comfortable just driving in general that all i really needed to do was memorize the courses so at the end we kind of had some wiggle room time um from what he could tell where I just really focused on the two driving courses that I felt were the most difficult for me. Um, so, the, so that's what we ended up doing. And I was able to pass. <laughs> I was able to pass, <laughs> so I got my license, and um, in total for um, all three classes that I took at this driving school, I paid somewhere between 700 and 800,000 won, I honestly can't remember exactly, um, but it didn't cost, but it cost about what I expected it to, ca to cost, honestly, and I got a good experience out of it, and I think that even if everyone at the school speaks Korean, if you can kind of get through the process of applying 
to the school and you study the test on your own, the written test on your own, and then whenever you are in the car with your instructor, and whenever you're in the car with your instructor, if you have them turn on the English or Chinese, um, I wanna say there's other languages, I think there's Vietnamese as well, um, if they turn on your specific language for you, then you should be able to get used to um, timing wise when to do certain things. Um, and yeah, I hope this helps. Um, I know I didn't get too, I tried my best not to get too specific because I didn't want to make this video too long. But if you guys really want specifics on you know what is in the basic skills tests and how and like how to do certain things um or what's what are the four courses for the on road test you can also find this information out online but if you wanted me to make a video about it um i can always do that um if you have specific questions please leave them in the comments below uh <laughs> and i hope this helped someone i said that already for like the third time but I, I hope it does <laughs> um, I'll see you guys tomorrow bye